What's up, Blasters? We're in Zoetermeer, Holland, to visit the National Video Game Museum and to find out if it's worth your time. Well, I guess it's technically a museum with displays and a history of video gaming written on the walls. Let's be honest, you'll spend about 99% of your time here simply playing the games. The museum itself is located pretty close to The Hague in Holland, namely in Zoetermeer. If you're planning a visit, consider opting for the full day ticket priced at 27.5 euros. It offers unlimited access and is a much better deal than the 17.5 euros ticket for just two hours. You get access to all 231 gaming machines in all shapes and sizes for the full day and you can walk in and out of the venue as you please. Upon entering, you'll find the ground floor dedicated to various themed rooms, each celebrating a different console era. However, the crown jewels here are the unique arcade machines. A personal highlight for me is the Star Wars Flight Pod, an exhilarating experience where I channeled my inner Luke Skywalker to obliterate the Death Star. For those who enjoy a dash of the unusual, there's a game where you master the art of ping pong ball skill shots and another bizarre yet hilarious Japanese game focused on table flipping to cause maximum damage. Venture up to the top floor and you'll discover an array of party games. Imagine Mario Party but with a quirky Japanese twist. You definitely don't want to miss the massive joystick setup for Tetris, where this unique way of controlling the game enables you to take on someone else. Even though the game is a million years old, it's still fun to try. Of course, no Japanese gaming area is complete without its share of rhythm games, like for example this drum game. When it's time for a break, head to the middle floor where you can find the barcade. You can have a drink amidst more gaming nostalgia and even more arcade machines before making your way into the basement. This place makes you feel like you're in a real Japanese arcade in Akihabara. You have a whole room dedicated to head-to-head -to -head setup fighting games, of course even more rhythm games, the obligatory DDR setup and everyone's favorite the orange drum game. Among the newer machines is a state-of-the-art DDR-like game featuring a touchscreen dance floor, eliminating any guesswork in foot placement that the old DDR machines used to have. But, unfortunately, this machine just proves that technology, however advanced, won't instantly turn you into a dance pro. The Gitadora machine is basically Japanese Guitar Hero, but it has the Evangelion theme song, so I declare this machine my personal winner. To round things off, I'll leave you guys with a quick food tip. There's an all-you-can-eat Asian restaurant just around the corner. It's oddly called Shabu Shabu, but it's definitely worth checking out if you're in the neighborhood. Thanks for watching! If you enjoyed the video, consider hitting the subscribe button, since it really helps a lot. If you have a recommendation on where we should head next, make sure to leave a comment down below.